We're gonna try this again though. I have faith. I got faith that it'll work. Let's just be better this time. We will be better this time. I don't want a shovel. No, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Usually I don't go shovel, but today we're going shovel. We can honestly just straight up W key this entire round. And just get two combinations and economy. <laughs> it's a sacrifice round for the better. We'll get two combinations in one round and then we'll also get economy. We're definitely losing though. Definitely, definitely, definitely use. Use the videos, so I always think you have plot armor. <laughs> That's actually funny. <laughs> I'm always gonna win. I wish it was like that. That would be great. But here I am doing dumb builds for the sake of fun. Okay, so in the name of fun, the name of fun. I don't know how I did it, but I was trying to clear my emails and I perma deleted my important college emails, but managed to recover them. That's nerve wracking. Four shovels in a bag. I've seen pictures of that. Who did that? I actually don't even remember who did that, but who did that? I've seen pictures of it. Let me get this. Let me get this. <laughs> important college emails. What emails from college would be important? You're lightheaded? Bro, you did not actually shit your pants. You're trolling right now. <laughs> There's no way. Five empowerment. I'd love to see it. It's only a dagger. But I'd love to see five empowerment. People I need to call for classes. Oh, interesting. Plus that economy to roll into orbs. Get enough orbs and the buffs carry you with four shovels. There is, how do you even get four shovels? How do you even roll four brooms and four pans though? Like, like the rolls have to be insane in order to do that, I swear. have to be some god rolls i feel like this is decent what does totem do um so every 3.2 seconds if your health is above 70 percent you gain empowerment like that if it's below 70 percent you just heal for eight it also uses uh 15 less stamina for each holy item that's next to it um but it's really good in the early game because you get the empowerments and then like once you're low in health you start healing which helps with survivability that's what makes it good. In this instance, we lose because we don't have a broom. <laughs> and they have better healing than us. I'm not getting a Goobert this time. No Goobert for me. No Goobert. Where's my bag of stones? I kind of need that. I kind of need the bag of stones. <laughs> Why do I have so many garlics? This mini garlics is not necessary. I have three garlics. <laughs> Let me go against a vampire build. Vampiris vampirism build. Give me a hungry blade of like four healing herbs. So I can show them who's boss. Get rid of all their vampirism. But yeah, I definitely, I think I desperately need some bag of stones here. Cause like what, six empowerment? Like if we don't win this game, okay, we still win, but still six empowerment with a bag of stones would be nutty. Can I get that? Thank you. I need a broom. Oh my God, I'm going for an healing build. It's round six and I don't have an extra broom. What am I thinking? I need a broom. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Cause what? I was about to go the entire game with just a shovel. 
Oh my gosh. Escaping broom? I know, right? I was stripping. I was stripping. I was stripping. Buy all the economy you can to pay for rerolls. Shovels, pigs, box of riches. So you're telling me you just literally at the beginning of the game. Oh, look! Hungry blades. No regeneration, no. But literally at the beginning of the game, you would just W he all the economy in the world and get as many shovels as humanly possible. You built like a garlic? I am built. I am built like like a car like i don't know. guess i am i don't want those two three gold usually i would make this switch to a hungry blade usually usually maybe that is the way i mean i only got one healing herb i kind of like my empowerment with stone combo you know what fuck the hungry blade oh yes sir you see you see what happens when you say fuck the hungry blade? You get an unhealing staff in two rounds. We like what we see. I might have been able to actually buy that mana orb. I mean, uh, yeah, that mana orb. If I sold the shovel, made some other stuff, I would have been able to. Blah, 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 blah. I would have been able to buy the mana orb. Four health. Lucky motherfucker. All right, goodbye. Hello. And we are going to go vampirous. Buying you. And you, and you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's, uh, let's reset. For resetting, I need these three. I need them here. You know what, better yet? I'm gonna move you up by one, actually. We'll do this. Give me bag of stones. Give me broom. And then give me shell totem. We'll go boom, boom, and then we'll go boom, and then we will go boom, and uh, I guess I'll keep that. <laughs> Wanna, I, I low key want this shield. I'm not gonna lie. I can sell some food for it. We'll start off fooling the healing herb. I don't need this because we're not gonna go hungry blade. Then I can just buy the shield availer. I'm gonna just put it somewhere. I mean, put it here. Also counts as a holy item though. Hmm. I think it'd be okay. Let's do this. Next up that's important is economy. Let's put all the econ on the field. Next up after that would probably just be garlics. I guess demonic flask. We're not putting any debuffs on them though, except blind, but who like, this is not doing anything. <laughs> I think we just go garlics. We'll just do that. Make them faster. Okay. Okay, magic staff already with Deerwood Guardian. We probably lose this. That's a magic staff with Deerwood Guardian. That is scary. As soon as Deerwood Guardian mode procs, we might be in trouble. Okay, they didn't have the stamina, it seemed. Nice, good game, good game. That's the problem with shovel, you always forget to buy extra broom. I know, right? Exactly. You sell all E coming when you hit one life and build a real build. Shovels get sold last since they are weapons. When you have one life left, then you finally sell everything and go for a real build. That is insane. I don't want a moon shield. I feel like eventually I'm gonna sell the shield because I really don't care for it. I don't care about it at all. Um, I guess sell a garlic. I don't care about the garlics. I do, however, care about my BBs. I like my BBs. Just buy this. Just buy something. All right. I just realized. <laughs> this is not doing anything, or it's not going to do anything on the uh, on the heal unhealing staff. Can you Sam? Can you, can you, can you freaking loser? I'm sad. Are demonic and vampiric potions ever used for real? Demonic potions, I feel like, are used in burst builds.
I'm sad. Um... I think I'm about to put this sword... <laughs> I'm about to put this sword on the field. I kind of fucked up a little bit, I'm not gonna lie. I don't have a backup weapon. All right. Okay, um... Yeah, I should have brought the hungry. In this moment, I knew I fucked up. <laughs> I now relate so to this damn menu music in this game. You relate to it? How do you relate to it? I kind of fucked up here. I'm not going to lie. We don't have a backup weapon. We would literally have to just rely on a uh, staff of healing. But at the same time, there's a prismatic orb here. And we're trying to go prismatic sword. That's the whole reason we have this wooden sword. Which we could buy shield of Valor. I mean, sell shield of Valor for six gold. We'll have eight. We just need four left over. Which I mean, we could sell a bag of stones or something. Like we we got options to sell. I just don't know what's the best thing to sell because like if we end up keeping bag of stones, we might as end up keeping shell totem for the empowerment. But like if we're gonna have a sword on the field, that's gonna be a lot of stamina. We might just sell shell totem. But if we're selling shell totem, then we might as well shell to sell the fucking stones. They're kind of useless at that point. It's worth checking in how much healing you get from those stones in the build. Vamp is a terrible class. <laughs> yeah, I be if that. Yeah, well, I think I'm selling them here. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna sell them here because I want this. I want this prismatic orb. So, I'm uh, yeah, we're just gonna sell them here. Uh, this will give me four, nine, and eleven, twelve. Okay, and then we will just put a sword here. And a prim orb. And that guy. I mean, yeah, I wasn't thinking about that. <laughs> but I mean, at the same time, in this situation, I would have probably just sold the Hungry Blade and got the combination anyways. Need a miracle to win next round. <laughs> Fuck, you're right. You always cook bills I've never heard of. That's the thing. That's the fun of the game. Don't run metal builds 101. <laughs> I really, I don't know, bro. I don't know if we're gonna win this. What are we going against? Oh yeah, we lost so hard. I'm tired of all these burst builds. I'm tired of all the burst builds, bro. <laughs> Save me, please. Save me from the burst build. Somebody. They're too much. Hey, at least we're healing a lot back, right? That's good. He's out of stamina. Even better. And we win? Uh, we're out of stamina, too. There we go. Okay, cool. I was, I was not having faith. I was not having faith at all. Wooden sword at 20 damage, you imagine? <laughs> That's actually kind of funny. All right, great. That works. Cool. All right, we got our prim uh, sword. All righty. You know, I wasn't expecting to get this far, so now I don't know what to do. It's a miracle. It's a miracle. I don't like it. <laughs> Should I buy this? These are both godly items. It'll make them 20% faster. I 
I don't know. That's looking kind of nice, though. That's looking kind of... <laughs> that's looking kind of good. I did it. Maybe I should W key for some uh, blood amulets, bro. <laughs> I need to stop tripping. I should probably get some blood amulets. This doesn't even need to go here. Staff of unhealing. I don't even need to go here. <laughs> Another miracle? Question mark? Stealing my buffs? You bum. Damn it, I kind of fucked this a little bit. Oh no. Why won't they just die? Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. One roll, two, three. Aha. I didn't mean to reserve that. Crap! Oh yeah, these are holy items. Oh my god, I'm throwing so hard. Somebody fix me. Fix me, I'm broken. Somebody, please. Okay, I think I am, I, I think I fixed. I am fixed. Uh, um. Shows around prism, yeah. I don't know how I won last round without doing that. Cause what in the world was I thinking? I want to put Nico somewhere where he's gonna get forty. It's like the only spot I could think of, but uh, I kind of just not cooking. Can't move everything down by one. I guess I could like uh, maybe. Unless I get rid of one of the fannies. No, that wouldn't work. Because it's got a touch. I'm just being experimental here. Being experimental. Wait, can't I, like, just do this? <laughs> and that fixes everything. Alright, perfect. <laughs> Literally fixes everything. Wonderful. Awesome. Okay. Um, do I want to buy anything? I don't want to roll again. Perfect. You bet I can't get it. I guess I could. Two, four, six, ten. Sell those two. Is that worth 12 rounds? Uh, one life run, right? Uh, is that worth? Is that worth selling all of my economy for one prismatic orb? Probably, actually. I think I want to move you over here. Wait, no, I can't. Freaking crap. Unless I put the prismatic orb right there. Two, four, six, two, four. That's 10, 14. I can at least save something. I do have a gym here. Why is the gym inside of... Why did I do that? I want to keep my economy. I'm not going to lie. I kind of like my economy. <laughs> I'm a fan of my economy. <laughs> I don't want to sell it, but I feel like I need to. I feel like buying this now is just like a guaranteed W next round. And this is kind of just not. Uh, fuck it. We're selling all the economy. To buy this premium orb. No, it's not touching the sword. No.
All right, we're gonna figure something out. We're gonna, we're gonna figure it out. We're gonna figure it out because that can't go there either. I think I have to do this. Please be 40. Let's go. Okay, that works. Prim orb zone, all of that. All of that. And then some. I feel like this is the best place of placement I can do. I don't need all that mana? Probably not. Well, I got it now. I, I was definitely not selling a mana orb though. That was dead. I was definitely not selling a mana orb. Interesting build we're going against. But yeah, you're right. We generate more than enough mana. We need more stamina though. That's kind of what we're slacking on is stamina, right? Uh oh. This guy hurts. All right, nice. We're kind of slacking on stamina. Cubert. Definitely not getting you. Why are you eight gold? I guess if you, I don't know. Why are you, why? Remember I said chance to use one regeneration to gain one empowerment. I mean, that is four activators. So I don't, I don't know. I could buy it and like, <laughs> put a bunch of blueberries in it. I guess I would need so many blueberries. All right, well, I think I'm gonna buy a banana here because we stammed out last game and I don't like that. So, yeah. I'm gonna buy the stamina potion too. Mm -hmm. But I don't think I want to combine them. Difficult positioning? Yeah, it's just not practical. It's not practical. What? Uh, wh what? Using the basket? You have the, the fuck the present. Whoa, that's a big Rudy. He's also got this one too. Wow. What a present build. You have no. You have one food. What a present build. Refrigerator to Kubert. I've already used up the stamina potion. We're using up. I don't know, bro. Even with this freaking uh, relic case, we're still stamming out. I don't like stamming out. I'm not a fan of that. And even with the relic case, we're still stamming out. Another one. I got one more slot, I think. Damn, where did all the money go? Oh yeah, we sold our pigs. All that money is gone. Uh, at least we got another blood amulet, I guess. Some more healing. Why not just have the porb in the middle? What do you mean? Like where, you mean like here? Main reason is, well, wait, what do you mean? Because it, well, what do you mean? Because it has to touch the diamond slots. Where Mana Orb is, it has to touch the diamond slots for a Nocturnal Lock Lifter. Ideally. I mean, the best spot will be here. Well, no. This will probably be, well, maybe not. I don't know. I feel like the best thing on here for us would be the increase in healing. So the more holy items we're touching, the better. But I highly value that uh <laughs> that diamond slot, so yeah. <laughs> Plutthorn. Oh. 
But a poison Goobert? Interesting. He's also got a shield. That sucks for us. Doing pretty good against them, though. Should be dead. Or not dead. Excuse. There we go. I was about to say, what the frick? That was pretty good, though. Considering. I don't really need more blueberries, so we're just going to pass on that. Holy armor? Maybe? It's on sale? I could turn it into a corrupted armor. Turn these into dark items so that they can also inflict uh, debuffs. Ooh. Why not? Another one. Dang it, if I didn't buy it. Do I still need this Shield of Valor? I could sell the Shield of Valor. That'd give me 8, 9, 10. The only thing that's giving me 11 and 12 if I sell this B-Nans, probably. Miracle Run, right? That are the blueberries. I mean, it like... You think the shield of value? Okay, so keep shield. Well, I guess we'll just have to get it next round then, because there's nothing else we would be able to sell for it, I don't think. I kind of want to move this up by one. They get in that star slot for the extra 4%. Maybe the 4% isn't that deep, though. Keep it here. Whoa. Three primi orbs is not what I want to see. And on a frostbite, at least his cold generation isn't crazy. All he has is the ice dragon. So his cold generation is nothing, but at the same time, three prismatic orbs is not fun. Okay, we're fine. Nice. We'll take that. Give me this. This is gonna go... No, it's gotta go into Prismatic Orb. I mean, Sword. Oh, crap. Crap, 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 crap. I'm gonna come back to that. Let my brain marinate. My brain needs to marinate real quick. Figure out what to do about that. I'm kind of looking for a Corrupted Crystal. I don't need you. Maybe that's why we're standing out, because we're making everything 20% faster. That would make a lot of sense. Let me get another one. Maybe swap Porb and Amulet above for more Holy. Swap the Porb and the Amulet. This one? Let's see here. So we got 3-2. And that would be a 1-3. I feel like we're sacrificing too much vampirism. I don't know if the vampirism really matters too much, though. No, this can't go here. Yeah, this can't go here. It needs to go. It, it has to touch the Prismatic Orb. This has to touch the Prismatic Orb no matter what. So we could put it here, here, here. But it needs to touch both Prismatic Orbs. So both Prismatic Orbs need to touch too. So realistically, this is the only location. Okay. And I guess we'll just put you here. Actually, that's a really nice spot. So we're at 3-5 and 4-3. That's not bad. I think that was the best case scenario. Yeah. All right, cool. Buying this next round. Probably going to put it right here. Still looking for a Corrupted Crystal, though. 
<laughs> At this point, all we need is more corrupted crystals. I mean, one corrupted crystal, more prismatic orbs, and that's really about it, I think. <laughs> Jesus Christ. My brother got destroyed. What a great shop. What's a great shop that we might be selling some something? Possibly. Damn it, I don't want to sell anything. Well, wait. 43, 41, sell for three, sell for two, four, five, five, six, seven. Sell both of these? I can't sell both of them. So I need this to be 40. Unless I sell a stamina potion. No dark armor? That's what I want to do right now, but I don't know what to sell in order to buy it. Because I can sell this for three, but I need two gold. Unless I get rid of a shiny shell. But I don't want to get rid of a shiny shell. I guess this is the main one we would get rid of. Because it's not on any of the star slots. Sell a blueberry? Blueberry, huh? You think we generate enough mana? Probably. Yeah. Sell that. We can sell one blueberry. And probably just sell this chip sapphire. I would like to put this on the sword, but like, I'm not gonna like, well, I could do this, but nah. We'll just do it like that. Get that corrupted armor. First build? Damn. I don't even know what just happened. It felt like I had the burst build. What? Yeah, his health just died. 159, a 28 hit, and then I guess that healing just dealt the damage. <laughs> oh my gosh. I guess it's because we have vampirism and lifesteal. So if this sword hits, sword hits, right? Just imagine a sword hitting, right? The vampirism is a heal, so the vampirism does damage. And then the sword has the 15% life still that does another damage. So really, when this sword hits once, it's really hitting three times. You got the sword hit, the life still hit, and then the vampirism hit. That's pretty insane. Oh, you think the shiny shells did? Wait, wait, wait. Did they do damage? They actually did. What the heck? Considering on the way, well, five, six, seven, eight. Well, yeah, eight, well, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah. I mean, with all of them combined, low key, you're right. Shiny shell fucking. I think only two of them procced. Yeah, the other. Well, wait, I'm at the bottom. Yeah. What was that 47 damage for a two? Well, for six. Go I, yeah. <laughs> For an item you don't think is going to do damage, it did a lot of damage. Alright, so now we got dark items. We have a 70... No, a 60% chance to inflict three random buffs per hit. That's a pretty high chance. We got one more round left in 15 gold. What do we want to buy? Another prismatic orb? That's the only thing I can imagine that we would want. Is another prismatic orb. I don't know if we're going to get it, though. Unless we just... Ah, nah. A bunny, maybe? What if we got a bunny? Should we just keep rolling for a premium orb or a bunny? Zero second shiny shell bomb build. <laughs> Bro. Nah, because you could actually do that. <laughs> you got me thinking. If they're all doing 17 damage, how much, <laughs> how much damage would you really, you know, how many shiny shells would you need? Imagine you got like 10 shiny shells. Oh, this isn't a holy item anymore. So the shiny shells don't benefit. Boo. Oh, well. Turn them. Oh yeah, I should turn them. You're right. Almost makes me want to put this guy like here. I can't put him there. Um, I could move you down, but I want to just do this. Because we don't really need the mana.
Do we get a bunny? I feel like we don't need a bunny, but like... What are the chances of us actually being able to turn, or, uh, turn, reroll for a, uh, for an orb? Ah, fuck it. We can still try. Why not? We don't need this. We did get another blood amulet. I can maybe find a new spot for the Nico. Maybe. Maybe. Um. That does not help. Oh, wait. Awesome. Cool. That works. That works. And then we'll just buy that. I think we sell both the blueberries because I can't really sell his customer card. It's helping me. This is such a small but effective board. It really is. Surprisingly so. Like, I didn't even think this board was going to do this well. But it kind of did. Very surprisingly. Alright, here's the board. Which works really, really well. Like, unironically, this is a really good... It was expensive and shit, but, like... Everything kind of works together. We got the unhealing staff, which turns the one hit from a prismatic sword into three hits, essentially. And it's also doing damage. We got double Nico, 20% or 40% faster on golly and unique items, which means this is 40% faster, this is 40% faster, and the relic case itself. Don't forget about that. Extra damage, less uh, stamina is also 40% faster. This is 40% faster as well. And this turns in the holy items into dark items, which helps out the shiny shells, giving this thing a 60% chance to inflict three random buffs. It's nutty. And you also have the um, the gaining of damage per hit and then the 45% uh, lifesteal, which is nutty. <laughs> um, and then you also got this lifesteal. I forgot about this lifesteal. So really, this is a 70, 45, 60, 40, wait, 45 plus 25. Yeah, 70. So this is a 70. No, it's, it's more than that. Because you also got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 vampiric items. 6, 12, 24, 48. This is basically 50, 75. It's over 100%. Okay. <laughs> uh, over 100% lifestyle. I wonder if that means we're dealing additional damage. Because, like, if this hits for 12 and we lifestyle for, like, 15, I, I assume that's going to do 15 damage. That's pretty nutty. That is pretty nutty. And then we're gaining 2, 4, 6, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 vampirism at the start of the game. Wow. I don't think the positioning of this can get any better. Yeah, that's basically how the build works. The only thing that I'd say is not necessary at all. We're definitely destroying this guy, by the way. But the only thing I think is not necessary is part of the Shield of Valor. It doesn't really do much being here. But I bought it on sale, but like... I really w wouldn't know what to replace it with. If I were to replace it with something else. Nothing comes to mind. Maybe a heart container. I guess that's the only thing, a heart container. That's really about it. But yeah, I'm pretty sure we're going to destroy this guy. Fancy Fencing Rapier with triple oil lamps is, is nutty in itself, but... I mean, hold up now. Hold up. If he procs his gin lamp, he's not going to proc the gin lamp though, right? Yeah, he has no spike generation. Well, besides the prismatic orbs, he has no spike generation. A little bit of empowerment there. Whopper Tinger. Phoenix is interesting. I got an advertisement on the final round. Okay, I'll wait. I'll wait. I'll wait. I won't play. I won't play. Let me know when the ad is over. So I'll... Well, I don't... I assume you can't even hear me, but, you know. Rabbit? Yeah, Rabbit is interesting. 
Oh, it helps the rabbit too. I'm pretty sure we still win just because this board is insane. It's over? Okay, okay, okay. Cool. We'll go on like point two. 231 block, 19 vampirism. I love how we start with just six damage. Did you guys just see that? No, wait, this was this, right? Yeah, I was about to say the sword is healed for 26, but no, this healed for 20. And the additional healing just gave us six more. Yeah, every time the sword hits, look how much damage. Wait, those are four numbers. 15, 9, 14, and a 20, I think. Jesus, we have seven blind on him. Every time this freaking sword hits, it... It hits four times. How are you hitting four times? I actually don't know. I thought it was three, but apparently it hits four times. Or something. We have 14 blind on this guy. <laughs> Brother. This build is actually pretty broken. I would I would want to see this versus... um. I don't see any build in the game. Give me a mana bomb, though. Nice board, congrats. Thank you. I'm trying to figure out how the Prismatic Sword hit four times at once. Because that's exactly how it felt. Okay. Why is it, like, not showing me? Dealt 13 damage. And then it regenerated 8 health. Okay, dealt 13 damage. And then it regenerated 13 health because of the Nocturnal Locklifter, which then that did damage. And then the sword itself regenerated 8 health, which that did damage. Wow. So the sword itself does damage. The regeneration from Vampirism does damage. The regeneration from Nocturnal Locklifter does damage. And then the regeneration from the sword itself does damage. So it really does 4 damage. It's four hits in one. What in the world? Four hits in one is incredible. You're healing doing damage? Yeah. I wasn't accounting for the Nocturnal Locklifter. I thought this... Yeah, so the Nocturnal Locklifter counts as damage. Wow. So Vampirism, Nocturnal Locklifter, the sword itself, and then the healing that the sword just has. That is insane. It's silly. It is. It's an expensive board, though. It's a, it's a really expensive board. Then again, I feel like we could have made it better by having Hungry Blade there. In that mid-game, so we didn't lose so many games in the mid-game. Having Hungry Blade there would have probably helped instead of going with um, not a Hungry Blade. So there's that, but yeah. Nocturnal also increases its lifestyle, which Stav shoots back at them. True, because uh, the staff heals its- Are you talking about because of the staff heals itself? And then there's healing from the staff. Does it- Imagine if the staff was a weapon. It was a melee weapon. Oh my god. It would be broken. They knew what they were doing. <laughs> this is a crazy build though. Brother didn't even come close to killing us. And we put 15 blind on him. 15 blind. Out of all of the debuffs, blind, two poison, and one cold. 15 blind. Out of all the debuffs you could have put on him, you chose blind. You are a menace. You could have put 15 poison on him, but no, you put 15 blind on this guy. If it wasn't a rapier, along with oil lamps, you still have 60% accuracy. 55. Wow. That is insane. Healing also does damage. Nocturnal gives lifestyle outside of your vamp stat. Both vampirism and lifestyle are healing, which both do damage. This build is insane. That was a crazy good build. Yeah, I agree. I agree. I don't think I've ever seen a build like this. I've seen a build similar with just Prismatic Orb. I think it was actually like a Prismatic Orb Dark Saber build, and you would utilize Corrupted Armor to turn these into Darks, right? And then like, just try to W key the Dark Item stat 
and, and inflict as many random debuffs as you can with your prismatic sword and then your prismatic uh i mean and your dark saber just kind of like you know goes with it right i've seen a build like that before but this is kind of crazy that was fun i enjoyed that <laughs> i didn't know it was gonna go that well either which is pretty cool nice i'm glad that went well <laughs> usually my builds don't <laughs>